Some of the people that are seen down here, we know they've been dead over 100 years. That's right where I saw him. Yeah. We uh, do our stories as quickly as possible, and we respect it, and we leave. A few people have been scratched. It sounds like I swear it's coming up from over here. We yeah. lost a few tour guides when small children are pointing behind them and going, who's the man standing behind you? Look, I found more blood. Something big, something old, and something that was never human. Are we in danger here? I keep seeing a woman's name. Did she die down here? Yes. Cave of the Winds was discovered in 1881 by George and John Pickett. It is believed that these caves are millions of years old. The name Cave of the Winds relates to a legend involving the Apache who were said to believe that the cave was home to a great spirit of the wind. The Ute tribe had a legend that a chief and his daughter hid in the archway entrance to the cavern to hide from attackers. Later, it was discovered by the daughter's lover that they both had died of starvation. There are also many stories of people who entered the caves and never came back out. Throughout the years, there's been a lot of strange paranormal occurrences within the cave system. Some believe that this is due to the limestone, which acts as a battery for spirits to build up their energy. There have been reports of tour guides and guests seeing full body apparitions, unexplainable mists of water, strange sounds, as well as mysterious lights and objects caught in photographs. One of the most common apparitions is that of a woman in a wedding dress. Her name was Abigail, and she is said to have died tragically on her wedding day. However, some of the tour guides have encountered something a lot darker and refuse to go to a certain area that this entity is seen in. So you know of some paranormal activity, right? Oh boy, yes. I'm one of the tour guides here. I do a lot of lantern tours. Lantern tours are back in the place where it's a little bit more active. I came here when I was little, but I briefly remember it. I was so small. But I just remember there being so much energy around here. On an active day, we've got people seeing figures in here. Even in this section where it's well lit, we've yeah. lost a few tour guides when small children are pointing behind them and going, who's the man standing behind you? Children are really susceptible to seeing things too because their mind's so open still, it's not all blocked off. I don't know where my rest of my group went. We lost them already. We lost them. <laughs> Lost in the cave of the winds. Oh no. Some of the people that are seen down here, we know they've been dead over 100 years. They're seen clearly enough that people can identify somebody out of a photo. Gun. Gun? That would work. This is where we talk about former owner of the cave going out hunting. I just heard like a moan or something. I don't know what that was. Also back in here, no electricity. Okay. Um, we've got one cable that has, um, that's for a hall box. Okay. So we have communication outside. So come on right in. This is crazy. <laughs> There was something right here that I saw, but it was just like a flash of light. If you can give me a description, I've got a pretty good idea who gets seen back here. I almost think they were holding like something to see, maybe a, some sort of light. Maybe that's the light I saw. I don't know if they were actually holding a lantern or Could not. you tell if it was a man or a woman? I feel like it was a man okay, when I saw. Okay, see if you can get a description of him. Give me a description of his face. Of his face? I keep seeing a man with facial hair, like he has some sort of hat on or something too. What like kind of facial hair, beard. I see like a mustache. a mustache. 
It's George. It's George? That's George. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I can show you a picture of him later on. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. But that, that's George. Okay. Yeah. He was just kind of saying hi. He didn't seem like angry or anything. No, no. He just seemed friendly. From what people have told me, he seems very happy that we're giving tours in here. This is George's cave. I'm protecting you. <gasps> Aww, Aww. Thank you, George. Aww. That From was who? Nice. Ooh. Oh. That's temperature. Oh, look, look. Hello. Oh. Whoa, they're both going off. Thank you. Oh. Is that George? That's right where I saw him. Yeah. Thank you so much. My name is Kelsey. This is Drew, Hello. Kim. You already know Gail yeah. over here. You know me. <laughs> Beside. Beside, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to talk through the spirit box? He got really excited when I said that. Yeah, he wants to. Okay. He knows why we're here. He knows. He, he's, yeah. He has very <laughs> accurate responses, too. Yeah. Like, right when we walked up, he already knew why we were here. Hello? George, are you making that REM pod beep? <laughs> he's down the tunnel. Who did I just see? I had a mustache. Are you happy here? Do you hear them? Yeah. It's like the gate moving. What is that? It sounds like the buckets. The buckets are moving? Oh. Is there anything bad down here that you don't like? Was that the shadow I saw down there? It's not like a dark shadow down there. Look, she has a picture of George with the hat I saw, the mustache. He's like wearing pretty much... Fudgel. Fudgel. That's the second that What is yeah. Fudgel? I don't know. This guy gets seen occasionally, but not very often. But we don't know who he is. I keep feeling like someone's watching me back there. There's something eerie about this room. I saw the shadow person up you think like the shadow person isn't so nice? Have you ever thought that? I will say there is something down here occasionally, thankfully not all the time, that is not a very happy thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that happen from that thing? Mostly you just feel very uncomfortable. Just very much something wants you to leave. And when that happens, we uh, do our stories as quickly as possible and we respect it and we leave. All the new tour guides, that's exactly what we tell them. Yeah. Use your use your instincts and don't mess with it. Has anyone been like scratched or injured mm -hmm. by it? Yeah. We've had a few people get scratched. I don't know if it's by it. What? That's a weird word. Malicious. Malicious. Oh, malicious. Whoa, it just said malicious. <sighs> a few people have been scratched, uh, but mostly it's Where? just on Where? their back. Is it here right now? Who is it that is malicious here? I keep seeing a woman's hand for some reason. With like long fingernails, but they don't look right. It just said, what the hell? <laughs> she has. She has? What was that? That was weird. You think it's like a woman that like hurts people or could be? Maybe. Um, I've also had some people have small rocks thrown at them. We think that's a woman who's doing that. You do? Yeah. 
I don't think she's like a demonic entity. I think she's really upset because something happened to her that was really, maybe she was killed. I don't know why she's down here though. I keep trying to come up with more details on her. Yeah. It's who I think it is. Mm -hmm. I have a pretty good idea. Yeah. Do you have flies in here every once in a while? Not really, not this far in. Do you hear something? I hear like flies buzzing. You know how like they, Fly over like fr run yeah. fruit or something that's rotting. That's weird. You guys don't hear that? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Just it's coming from over here. Is it behind? Yeah, there. Yeah, that's where I was. He's like, mm. I don't want to sound cliche, but it sounds like you know when you find roadkill or something like that, and the flies are like festering over it. It sounds like that. I swear it's coming up from over here. Hmm. Like if you stay really quiet. You don't hear the buzzing. No. Can you tell me who the woman is? Can you give us a name? I can't understand what they're saying. I will when I edit this. It'll probably all make sense. I keep seeing her in a light colored dress too, with her hair like up. I've really? seen a lot on my tours. Mm -hmm. I started keeping track once we came out of uh, lockdown. Stopped in November when I hit 80. Different people that saw her. Really? Mm -hmm. Is there a reason she likes Scales tours? Oh. Are we in danger here? <laughs> I don't know what that was. I hated that. <laughs> I'm trying to connect, but there's something blocking it. I don't know how to explain it. Oh my gosh, we're spiders. really having to like duck in here. <gasps> Help me. Help me. Oh no. That's weird because when I was passing through there, I got like this image of a child and they seemed lost and I thought I was just kind of, my mind was wandering and then it said, help me. We have a story about a couple of kids in here. You do? Do you think that they got lost down here? Yeah, we certainly Wandered never off. found them. Yeah. They were certainly never found. I keep getting Joseph, like this name. Do you have a last name on Joseph? I don't. We went to somewhere we can stand a little bit. I will like... flash the lights. Have your guys' flashlights ever like flickered? I usually don't have a lot of problems, but some of the other folks have. Who was the little kid that came to me? <laughs> Did you get lost down here? Can you tell me your name? Okay. I heard Joe, mm -hmm. and I said Joseph earlier. I'm starting to feel sick. Really? Yeah. Do you need a bag? No, I'm good. Let me know. I have, we have barf packs up there. <laughs> There's hidden around. Oh no. Oh yeah. There's been people who've puked. Mm -hmm. Had one of our coworkers almost pass out on me on one of our, my tours. Wow, really? And she'd been in here various times before. Down deep. Down deep. What? Did you need help crossing over? What did you need help with? Lost. Lost. You can't find your way out? How did you get lost down here? Did you go somewhere you weren't supposed to? If you follow us out, we can help you find your way. A few times in between where Havers found the way in. This is all graffiti, Joe Wallace. This is from 48. Uh, you can never find it when you want it. Joseph Hancock. Oh, Joseph Hancock. A lot of these go back to the 1880s. This is so crazy. <laughs> so the original entrance was actually back up here. It's kind of dirty. That's the original entrance. Okay. So this is where people came. Masashi. And then this is an old kerosene barrel. So the original tours had kerosene lanterns, 
and you know things like this is part of the globe of a, a broken one and they would just fill up the kerosene oh, wow. lanterns right here. They're supposed to like touch my head. Oh well, yeah. Spire. I hope not. They like brushed again. It was like light. It was just like this. George. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. George? Like George? Girls, so oh. It's George. Thank you, George. She's mine. George. <laughs> She's mine. By the way, we've also had tour guides come out of here with dusty handprints on their back. Oh, really? Yeah. So they were saying that they were seeing George down this way. There's other tours that are coming through here and they said that they felt someone down here too. Is it the same George that we were feeling? You same said there George. are multiple Georges, right? Yeah, multiple Georges, but one really didn't have a lot of an attachment to the cave. It's mostly it's George Schneider. Okay, George Schneider. as far as you like, whatever you're comfortable with. It dead ends down there after a while. <laughs> now, just to let you know, this is about as far away and isolated from any electrical energy <sighs> as you can get in here. If the little kid is here that was following us... Sit and talk. Okay. Is the little boy still here with us? I wonder if George could help the little boy. So what do they like to talk about? Young. Young. Are you able to help him, George? Can you stop, please? Thank you. Nine. He's nine. <laughs> Calling out to the spirits who are in this cave. If you're able to come forward to us. Do you know what these caves are called? holding on to the walls and he had a lot with his lungs like he was coughing a lot as if he inhaled something who's the man that i just saw anyone ever lived down here? Not lived, but uh, this is called Lover's Lane because George and Nellie had a nice little bedroom set up down here. Oh. So if they <laughs> did go, want to go home after a party, spend the night down here. There was Abigail I heard earlier on there. Or Abby is what Abby. I said. Yeah. yeah. Not surprised with that one. Yeah. I just went to yes. Is that Abigail? Yeah. Whoa, a huge orb just went by on my camera too. Did she die down here? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm sorry. They're all so crazy responsive here. Wow. Yep. I'm sorry, Abigail. Maybe she's the one saying it hurt. So this is George's and it's been down here how long? 140 years? Oh yeah, at least. Wow. Thereabouts. So I guess under here, George would collect human remains and put them. It's one of the places. There's another one out here that we really show is out here. Oh, wow. Guys, Drew went to a cave and didn't bring a jacket and wore shorts. Really, Drew? Really? And my jacket that I do have is a long sleeve. <laughs> we drive up here, there's snow on the mountains. Drew doesn't I've been need fine the rest of the time. I've been shorts and a t-shirt the whole time. <laughs> Oh 
It's weird, I feel a lot more lightheaded down here. It's uneasy, like I don't want to go down there. Is that weird? No, not at all. <laughs> That's why I was wondering if you would get anything this way. Really? <laughs> like something doesn't want you over there. Indiana Jones. Dude, first old man cave up there. Oh, you'd climb up there? Well, I'm sure a hundred years ago there was more than just that little bit. Yeah. So one of her co-workers walked back here and passed out. Ask people to find their home state and leave a business card. It's Google Analytics 1880 style. Oh. <laughs> Ashley, if you could watch the light. Yeah, don't go a whole lot farther with the light. Okay. This is as close as I get. What's the reason for the light? If you don't mind me asking. No, just let's just not let's give it a little bit of space, whatever it might be. So let me give you a description, see if it's jiving with what you're saying. Something big, something old, and something was never human. It's not bad. It's, it's not bad. aggressive, but like I feel something that's just not, it's not normal. First thing that popped in my head, a big foot. <laughs> It's man bear pig. Man bear pig, <laughs> guys. I need you to keep an eye out for man bear pig droppings. What do man bear pig droppings look like? Similar to pig droppings, but more man bear like. Man bear pig. It sometimes doesn't want anybody around it, and I try and give it a little bit more respect. Does it like to hang out down there? Yeah, and sometimes you get the sense that it's just down, there's a pit, and maybe down and back into the rocks. I don't know. It doesn't want anybody in here, and. We do our stories and we leave. <laughs> right. Could you imagine just being stuck in darkness like this? Give it 10 minutes and your brain is starting to fill in details. I control this place. <gasps> I control this place. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> There's a bunch of blood. Someone must have smacked their head. <laughs> Yikes. Look, I found more blood. <laughs> Dang. You really Frank. gotta be careful down here. Frank. Did Frank, is it Frank's blood? Frank? What if maybe there's a Frank that hit his head? <laughs> so my mom had to leave. That's why she wasn't there for a part of the tour. So she had to do the bathroom initially, but then she felt really, really sick. No, I just all of a sudden was sitting there and I just felt so nauseated, which is really weird. So I don't know if it's altitude sickness or what, but I mean, like I left and I tried to come back and I would get to that same spot and I had to have the tour guide take me back. Really? Like, uh, I think it was three times that poor guy had to take me back, but I just couldn't, couldn't make do it. it past I, I that one it spot? No, I just felt totally nauseated. Maybe something was preventing you from going in. I felt nauseated a little bit in one area and then I was okay. As soon as we left that area, I felt fine. Yeah. I felt was, completely fine. There's that one spot by these gates. Look at this, hold on. It's the wind spirit they're talking about. It's so interesting. Look, we're the only car here. That was so cool. Shout out to the Cave of the Winds for letting us go in there and film and shout out to Gail for giving us such an amazing tour. There was a lot of weird energy down there that was just so interesting. So I'm glad that we got to experience that. That concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you are subscribed. Also ring that notification bell so that you guys know when I post. Don't forget the third eye hoodies are still available as well as the Lola plushies. Use code Kelsey10 for 10% off and I'll see you in the next video.